Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick for Thomcraft version 6. In this episode, we're going to look into Verdant Charms. You'll need a couple of theories in Arcane Infusion, and once you get that, you can start building them. So, the Verdant Heart Charm requires a fancy amulet, some rare earths, milk, Victus, and Herba crystals with Herba, Ordo, and Victus Essentia. Instability is moderate, so you may want to have some stabilization before you attempt it. Let's go ahead and make the fancy amulet. So to get that guy, just some string, some diamonds, and a gold. I think we used that before one time, but I can't remember exactly. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this down here. It needs milk. It needs herba, victus, and rare earths. Let's go ahead and start the infusion. So, what do Verdant Charms do? Well, the, there are three levels. There's the basic one we're making right now, and there are two upgrades. The basic level takes care of poison and withering effects. So, if you have a poison or you have a wither, it will just take it right off of you. That is really awesome effect for fighting the wither or being near cave spiders, things like that. Very nice and handy. The upgrades, though, include that effect, but go even farther. There's one that is a life giver, which has a regen effect, and the other one is the sustainer, which feeds you, and you don't even need food in your inventory for that to work. So it's a great way to have passive food whenever you're around your base and you don't want to keep going to get food or whatever. So there we are. Here's the Verdant Heart Charm. And it does need V to work, so it'll, it will charge itself. But I'm going to go ahead and make the upgraded one. And then we're going to not use bread or any kind of food ever again when we're around, around the base. Now, the upgraded version is going to require uh, Desiderium and Air Crystals, a Potion of Regen, and a Triple Meat Treat. And that will give us the Sustainer one. So, thought I had all that stuff. I don't... Well, that's odd. I, I would swear I had that. Now I don't have it. All right, I'll go find out where that went. I'll bear it back. All right, so to upgrade the charm to sustainer, we'll need to meet treat a potion of regen level two. We need an air crystal and a desiderium crystal. So we'll go ahead and do that too. So this guy is really nice as a passive food source. However, it's not good when you are in battle because it does not do almost anything for your saturation levels, which means your regen of your health is very bad when you have this on. So you don't want this in a battle situation, but if you just want to have to not eat food around your base, this thing is awesome. If you don't go into combat a lot, you know, you just have to eat food to keep from starving, this thing works wonders. Now, the other one is the Life Giver, which enables you to uh, heal yourself faster. It's nice, but it's not going to keep you alive in a big fight. It's going to mainly do it a little bit better than you would normally. But this guy, I like this guy a lot. So I'm going to put him in the bubble slot. He goes right there. And as you can see, I'm being fed passively. Didn't use any of my bread either. So I won't need food anymore around the base if I'm just running around, just not wanting to starve. This guy will keep my food level high, but again, will not do much for my saturation level. So keep that in mind. All right, that covers the Verdant Charms. Thanks for watching. See you next time.